right after school so you can get started. You'll be finished by 4.30. The AMK Club is back. If you love One Piece and Attack on Titan, come to MF8 after school today. If you have an April birthday, don't forget that your day to celebrate is Friday. Come to the outdoor stage to get a treat. Don't forget your ID. There is a club live meeting after school on Wednesday, April 27th in MC6. All 8th grade girls interested in playing volleyball next year, please come to an informational meeting on Tuesday, I mean today, in HJ1 at Franklin High School after school. You'll be discussing summer practices, tryouts for the fall, and any other questions you may have. If you can't attend the meeting and have any questions, please contact Coach Wood at suhwood at egusd.net. Now let's go to Mrs. Kincaid for her segment called, Did You Ever Know? Good morning, Jags. Did you ever know? Over 900 students qualify for Renaissance. There are two ways that you can qualify for Renaissance. Number one, is your grade point average above a 3.0? You qualify for Renaissance. Number two, second way, if you improve your GPA by 0.5, what does that look like? Let's say you had a 1.5 in term two, boost it up to a 2.0 in term three, you qualified for Renaissance. What if you have a 3.5 and you boost it up for a to a 4.0? You qualify for Renaissance. Well, this Friday, leadership is handing out donuts at your lunch in order to celebrate all of your accomplishments. Please come to the multi-purpose room to get your donut and be celebrated. Did you ever know that this right here is the new Spirit Wear sweatshirt? It's $25 cash at the student store. Did you ever know that your book index is posted in, oh, excuse me, on the yearbook windows, MC10? Go check it out. How many times are you in the yearbook? You still don't have a yearbook? No worries. $50 cash, student store will purchase, will get you a yearbook. So you can check the number of times you're in the yearbook and then go buy it. It's award winning, I'm sure. Did you ever know salted caramel, raspberry lemonade, and Strawberry Froyo are available this week in the student store. Did you ever know? Lil, Lil, that's how he says it. Lil Motormouth is coming to our spring fair for a special 30 minute dance. Did you ever know? A digital marquee has been purchased by our students for our school. Did you ever know? People don't know what a digital marquee is. That is a sign that has electricity that will hang on the wall and it'll say things like, welcome back to school and happy birthday, Justin. And guess what? It is time for the Jaguar Jubilee. It's gonna be amazing. Check your school loop so you can have a vote on which marquee you like better. And that's it for me. Did you ever know? Thanks, Mrs. Kincaid. On Saturday, April 23rd in Riverside, California, a helicopter was working a call at 10.20 p.m. when another call came in saying a car had lost control and came to a stop on railroad tracks in the area of Dewey Street and Streeter Avenue. The helicopter crew noticed a freight train traveling west directly below them and realized the train was on the same set of tracks about two miles away from the stuck car. The two pilot officers, Stephen Quinn and Chris Tavaglion, descended to 100 feet right in front of the train, shining a super bright light that caught the attention of the conductor who eventually got the train to stop. It stopped only 40 feet east of the car, but that was, safe, but that was enough to get the driver safely out of the car. The officers are now being called heroes for their amazing quick thinking. For more information, go to cbsnews.com. That's it for today's show. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of First Things First on TJTV. I'm Katie. We have 22 more school days until the last day of school. And I'm Trisha. TJTV would like to wish a very special birthday to cast and crew member Justin Carmona. Happy birthday!